business will come and tell you, I, I can learn to do that. I can even live with, with the 5% tax. I can, but you are so inconsistent year to year to year. I, I never know how to plan for my future. I don't know if I need to grow. That's a huge issue here, is that every time we put something in place, two years later, we change it. I mean, that, that needs to be addressed and we need to be more uniform and we need to do a better job in teaching our legislators, our new legislators who will be here, hopefully, for periods of time, <coughs> why it is we did what we did and to keep it in place and review it over time, but at least to try and work with the business community to keep things a standard place. I mean, besides all the other things we're doing. And I've but consistency is terribly important. And I've suggested, the, if we raise the, the tax, and we're going to make it permanent, I think you're going to see some problems. But if we go to a progressive tax, I think you're going to see, not an exodus, but I don't, I think you're going to see real job stagnation. And without job growth, we can never grow our tax base. And we shouldn't be growing our tax base on raising taxes. We should grow our tax base by putting more people to work in better jobs. So that's what our focus ought to be, and it hasn't been. And hopefully, this that will be a focus in this next one. Hey, ask a favor. Can we make it abundantly clear? Because I think we're going to hear all kinds of um, rationalization about the graduated or progressive income tax. That is a ballot initiative. Yes. The General Assembly would take a vote to put it on the ballot so that the people of Illinois would vote on it. And I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to get those who kind of equivocate and say, I didn't vote to increase the taxes, I voted to give you the opportunity to vote on whether we should do the graduated income tax. I just want to make that clear, because I don't think people necessarily understand it. it, it, it